Hi, I'm Ben Avery. I'm the chief pilot for Griffin Hoverwork, and I'm here to show you around the first of the new hovercraft that we've built for our customers in Oita, Japan. So we stood alongside the first of the Japanese craft, which is Bain. It's a 12,000 TD hovercraft, and it's here based at Ride for its Sea Trials program. The Sea Trials program consists of various different tests that we have to do with the hovercraft. They include float tests, steering tests, uh, speed runs and endurance runs. Craft number one is one of three craft that are being built to operate on the service between Oita City and the nearby airport and it's been purchased by Oita Prefecture. The craft is 25 metres long, which is 2 metres longer than the standard 12,000. So the extra length in the craft, that extra 2 metres, has been added in to give some more space inside the cabin, which allows for the Japanese barrier-free access requirements. It also gives two wheelchair spaces and seating for 80 passengers. AN V12 1000 horsepower diesel engines as well but due to the extra length of the craft we've changed how that power is distributed between the propeller and the lift fan. So the puff port is a very simple control mechanism. There's a valve on the inside and it bleeds off skirt pressure and can push the craft one way or the other. It's not something we would use in normal operation it's for very fine manoeuvring and for the customer in Japan, they have quite a tight space in their boathouse and it will be used to help them park the craft when it goes into the boathouse. So let me explain a bit about the back of the craft. Because we've made the craft a bit longer, we've had to look at ways of weight saving. And one of the places we've done that is by taking weight out of the propeller ducts in the way that we manufacture them. Another improvement that we've made on this craft is the steering system, which is now a lot more efficient. Join us next time in the autumn when we'll give you a tour of the inside of the craft.